Kanye West has had a bizarre past few years. Outside of all the controversies, his music has taken a lot of twists and turns. From making a spiritual Christian album, to one of his longest, most drawn out albums of his career, followed up by what might be the lowest rated album right after that. Kanye has seemingly struggled to find solid footing, which brings us to his latest album, Vultures. Would this finally be the album that helps Kanye get back on track, or is this yet another bizarre detour? Well, on this album, we actually see Kanye embracing the bizarreness with his production. So today let's talk about what those bizarre production ideas are, how he used them, and how useful they can be in your production. Now first off, what you might notice on many of the songs on this album is how often the beats challenge the normal hip-hop convention. For example, let's take Hood Rat. You look like a piece of hallelujah, wrapped up in to make this beat first, we have the bass line along with the piano and the pads, nothing too unconventional up to this point. One of the staples of hip hop production is to have the drums be loud and upfront in your beat. For example, here is Kanye himself in the past talking about what he values in drums. My drums, if you listen to the, my sonics, they wouldn't compare to anything that Dilla was doing or anything that Dr. Dre was doing or anything that Swiss Beast is doing or anything that Pharrell was doing. My drums are actually my Achilles heel. I'd ask Pharrell, I'd ask Timbaland, help me redo these drums because it just don't knock. We still be redoing the drums to this day. We still redo the drums, so can't tell me nothing. Can't tell me don't knock like, it don't knock like Mike Will. It don't knock like Travis Scott. It don't like, knock like Young Chop. So to get your drums to knock, to be loud and upfront, is what Kanye and most hip hop producers aim to achieve. But on Hood Rat, we actually have the opposite. The drums are washed away and pushed back into the beat. Let's compare how this beat would sound with the same drums and pattern, but in a more conventional hip hop way. So here we're seeing that Kanye is almost making sure the drums don't knock, which is unusual. Another beat where he breaks convention, but in a different way, is Keys to My Life. Like you don't see me beating on your window, like Chief Keep in the kitchen with the beaties in the endo. Now in one particular section of this beat, we have this bizarre drum idea here. The reason why this sounds strange and disorienting is because Kanye chooses to reverse all the drum sounds for this beat. If you literally just hit the reverse button, this drum pattern now starts to sound normal. And by reversing your drums like this, they lose their ability to knock. Typically, it's the immediate loudness of a drum that helps it knock, but by reversing it, we now have this gradual increase in volume and we lose that knock. The last time I heard someone do something as bizarre as this was actually Kanye himself for the song Easy that he did for the game. My life was never easy. Now, not only are the textures and the sounds on this album used unconventionally, but some of the patterns are unusual for hip hop songs too, like On Paid. Typically with hip hop beats, we have the snare or the clap on the two and the four, and the kick would be on the one with additional notes in between. But with this beat, we have a four on the floor pattern with a kick on every beat and the additional percussive layers placed in between those. But drums aren't the only place where Kanye makes unusual choices. Another way the production stands out on this album is with the treatment of the sounds. A great example of this is Carnival. Way too rich to drive a road, made a million out of stone. Here we have this huge anthemic beat with these vocals, but it's actually the small details that jump out. For example, partway through this beat, we see Kanye sampling the same song that he did for A Hell of a Life more than 10 years ago. What he does this time though, is he takes this guitar from the sample and applies an extreme amount of distortion to it. Now, 
Now this only gets used for one small switch up during the song, but from what it sounds like, this also gets used as that small distorted sound throughout the entire beat. Now I'll be 100% transparent here in saying that I'm not sure about this one as I wasn't able to get the distortion to fully match, but I'll just let you be the judge. This kind of over-the-top distortion is an idea you can see all throughout this album. Another place this shows up is on paperwork. Benjamin Frank, that's my neighbor. Deep in the night, let's get dangerous. We not the type to point fingers. She took the pipe, now she famous. So here's how this beat was made. First, we have that initial bass layer, which sounds like an upright bass. Then we have this very distorted percussive sound that comes in. But the part that stands out is this huge over-the-top 808, which it sounds like comes from this sample here. Now the main part of this sample gets used as the hook, where we have that blaring synth from the sample come in. But it also sounds like the 808 from the sample is isolated and used throughout the whole beat. If we re-pitch this down and slow it down as well, and then apply an extreme amount of distortion once again, here is what we get. Now so far what you may have noticed is how many unconventional, bizarre samples appear on this album. Even though traditionally Kanye is known for his soul samples, so far we've seen a rock sample, a beat brucharia sample, and my favorite beat on this album also uses an unconventional sample. The song I'm talking about is King. The sample that's used for this is an alt indie song from 2008. So here's how this beat was made. First, the sample gets pitched up and slowed down with some reverb applied to it. And then we have these fantastic sounding drums and subby low end to complete the beat idea. Now this is me speculating here, but this seems like a sample that JPEG Mafia would have found. He's a producer who's credited on this track, along with many others on this album. JPEG Mafia is an amazing producer who I have done a similar video on in the past. I would definitely recommend checking it out as it's right next to me. But yeah, those are some unique production techniques on this new Kanye album. Let me know what you thought about the album. Was it a good Kanye album or not? Like and subscribe and uh, yeah, check out this video. And if not, I'll see you next week.